okay we're good so good afternoon guys i hope y'all uh niggas is out of church at this particular time and space i'm gonna take this time to make one of my favorite meals and veganize it because i really 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 love fried fish and cheese grits like it's it's my thing um I remember a while ago, many, many moons ago, when I still gave niggas the availability and the ability to break my heart, I had a really bad breakup at fam. And you know how people always be like, oh yeah, I just ate ice cream. I didn't eat ice cream. I literally ate fried fish and cheese grits for like two weeks straight. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Simmy. Hey, Cherish. Oh, I know two Cherishes now. That's cool. So, I ate it, like, every single day for two weeks. So, we're going to start with the grits. Grits are pretty simple, rather easy to make, but, you know, I'm veganizing them. So, you're going to see it's going to be a little bit different. So, I have my pot here. I'm going to put a little bit of water in my pot, and then I'm going to put some bouillon paste in it so that it's kind of cooked in, like, a broth. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to show you guys really quick. I also have some shrimp. I'm going to do some vegan shrimp too and a little bit of fried okra. It's going to be real cute, y'all. Okay, so I just put a little bit of water because I'm going to be the only person eating grits. And so I'm using bouillon paste to make broth for my grits, okay? Right now my fire is on high. It's on nine because I want it to boil. So quick um, pro tip, whenever you are making grits, you always want your grit, your water for your grits to come to a rolling boil and that helps to keep them from sticking together, okay? So I'm going to put a little bit of bouillon paste in the water, not a full tablespoon. And guys, I'm not even lying, like I literally have to measure this out because if I don't like, I love grits. When I tell you I fucking love grits, I, I love grits. So if I don't allow myself to just put a little bit I will eat the whole pot of grits like I love grits for real for real okay so inside of that water we just have water and bouillon paste I'm about to put some butter obviously country crock which is vegan so I'm gonna put like a full tablespoon in there and I just want my water to come to a boil and at this time, if you're a person, there's like a really big debate about whether you should put pepper in your grits or not. If you're a person who puts pepper in your grits, you could put pepper in the water right now. If you're a person who doesn't or, you know, you're against putting pepper in grits, then you ain't got to do it, okay? So while that's um, going, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. And if you're a person who puts sugar in your grits, then you should just not be on this live because I don't even know why they still give people internet who put sugar in their grits, okay? We are going to make a wet batter for our fish, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about our fish. So today for our fish, there's really two two ways that I've seen to do vegan fish. So they, they're kind of like three. So they have vegan um, fish that already comes or whatever. It's like prepackaged. It's made out of soy. I don't dislike it, but it doesn't really taste like fish to me it's just i just don't really care for it it just tastes like this soy patty so it could be chicken it could be whatever you want it to be right hey ro um then the other fish recipe that i've seen is some people do it with eggplant i've tried the eggplant before i don't dislike it it does it gives me fish vibes but it's not like close enough um and so what i'm using today is the third option which are banana blossoms it's a south east asian vegetable uh, i wish i had the can but i threw it away um and you can get this at the asian market as i always say uh if you live somewhere even if you live in the most rural part of the country if you have a chinese restaurant in your city you have an asian market in your city so you go inside the asian market and it should be where the canned jackfruit is banana blossoms okay so oh hold on sorry guys so we're gonna make and so you have to soak them i'm gonna show them to you when i get ready to put them in the oil but for right now we're gonna make the wet batter okay and so the wet batter let me get that it's gonna be pretty simple we need to get some flour okay my water let me turn this a little bit this way hang on 
you guys can see my water is boiling from my grits and it's like um a rolling boil so i'm gonna add this in really important to remember when you're working with grits and you're putting the grits in the water first of all let me get the cover because grits will act a plum fool on you and then you'll be embarrassed in front of your community so let's see if i can find the cover that fits that pot okay i found the cover that fits that pot that's good because i'm gonna cover it okay so you're gonna pour your grits in and these are five minute quick grits but I still do real jazzy shit with my grits, okay? So I'm going to add all of that in there. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I did not measure that. Nothing about that was measured. So you whisk while you pour the grits in. If you don't do your grits like this, that's perfectly fine. And now I'm going to turn the fire down and I'm going to cover them so I don't get my ass burned on TV, okay? I'm going to leave that here. And then what makes my grits... So super rich and creamy is coconut milk okay you can use vegan whipping cream vegan heavy cream or you can use coconut milk some people use almond milk almond milk to me doesn't get it as creamy and it leaves it with a little bit of an aftertaste so I always use coconut milk with my grits these take five minutes I've turned the fire down the fire is like I went from nine to about four okay and now we're gonna make our wet batter for our fish okay um, we need flour. Okay, so this is spelt flour. You can use regular flour. It really, really does not matter. Um, but I have my little, um, spelt flour. So I think that's about a cup, maybe, of spelt flour. And we're going to do what's called a wet batter and a dry batter, okay? So the wet batter we're going to make here and the dry batter is literally just fish fry. So I did not do anything to this. You guys know Louisiana fish fry. I didn't do anything to this. All I did was take the fish fry out the container and pour it in a Ziploc bag because it'll be easier to shake around. That's it. I didn't season it, didn't do shit to it, nothing, okay? So I'm put that over here. So for our wet batter, we're going to go ahead and season this up. I have a mixed seasoning. I know you guys are probably gonna say like, oh, you should put Old Bay in it. I don't have any Old Bay right now, but if I did, I would put Old Bay in here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this seasoning, which is, um, it's a mixed seasoning. So if you have Old Bay, totally recommend that. Go ahead and use Old Bay. If you don't have Old Bay, um, you know, Tony's Creole, Laurie's, whatever, your mixed seasoning of choices, use that. So that's what I'm using. Um, since we're making fish, usually I'm from South Florida and whenever, and I'm also Jamaican, whenever we make fish, we always put lemon on our fish. I don't have lemon and we don't have the ability to put lemon on our vegan fish. So I'm using some lemon pepper seasoning. Okay. Don't judge me. I'm just trying to do what I have with what God has yielded me. Okay. So I have lemon pepper seasoning. Oh, and by the way, this is salt free lemon pepper seasoning. So if you're using a lemon pepper seasoning that has salt in it, then you don't want to put salt because it's just going to be too much. Boom, it's going to be too much. Give me a second, y'all. I need to stir my grits real quick. Oh, that cooked really fast. Okay, my grits have cooked remarkably fast. I'm going to put the add the coconut milk to them right now. Y'all give me two seconds. Because I'll be monologuing with y'all and then my fucking grits will burn. And then I'll have to kill all of y'all because I can't eat burnt grits, okay? Oops. I'm going to mix. Once I mix this in, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. I know you guys can't see me right now. Just give me two seconds. Please give me about two, three seconds. Okay, let me show you guys what my um, grits looks like, okay? And I'm still going to turn the fire down um, a little lower 
this is what my grits look like super rich super creamy mm -hmm. about to add um some cheese to it my grits are almost done so that's super quick super easy way to make some grits i think these grits are like five minute grits so as you guys can see this is the consistency of my grits and because we're doing like a southern style brunch i'm gonna add more butter to them don't judge me today's my cheat day. it's really been a cheat weekend but you know what i'm saying we're this is not a place of judgment okay at least i should hope not as much grace as i've given you niggas. it's not a place of judgment okay so as you can see like this is really the consistency that i like my grits to be at they're kind of pretty, pretty thick. So I'm going to add a little, just like a little pinch more water to them. Um, and then after that, I'm going to start adding my cheeses to it. And vegan, you can use any kind of vegan cheese you like. I honestly really enjoy using the vegan smoked Gouda, but I don't have that today. So I'm probably just going to use some of this leftover um, mozzarella that I have in the fridge, quite honestly. Okay, so I covered my grits and I just want those to kind of steam. So we're pretty much done seasoning as it goes with this. We put mixed seasoning in it. Um, we put a salt-free lemon pepper in it. That's really it, okay? So now, well, I can mix it with a fork. Let me stop trying to be too fancy. And this is just flour. We use spelt flour, but you can literally use the flour of your choice, okay? We put some mixed seasoning in it and some lemon pepper. And I really know mine is ready to go once, you know what I'm saying, once I can smell the seasoning. If I can't smell the seasoning, hey BP, then it's not really ready to go. Also with this, because we're putting it in fish fry as well, you wanna make sure that you're careful with your um, salt content, okay guys? All right, so um, now I'm gonna add um, the next thing to it. What you can do is you can add like vegan milk. I used to do that, but I saw this recipe on YouTube and it really has changed my life. I started using um, sparkling water. And when you use the sparkling water, the effect that you want to get is kind of like pancake batter, right? So let me see if I have a little bit of baking powder here, I do. I'm gonna add a little bit of baking powder. So like for all y'all niggas who like did real well in science and didn't cheat, like the baking powder mixed with this is kind of like when you mix baking powder and vinegar and we did like that little volcano project. I know y'all niggas know what I'm talking about. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So like these two things together create like a chemical reaction and it like bubbles. But when you're making a batter, it makes it like light and fluffy and airy. Kind of like buttermilk pancakes, if you think about it. So you can put these two things together and it gives like the same effect as like buttermilk. Y'all know what I'm saying? I'm not the only one who did that basic ass volcano. Don't fucking play with me, okay? Do not play with me on this Sunday. I'm not I'm not the only one who did it. Yes, I'm about to make just egg smoke the quesadilla with fried bananas i love it go ahead so i'm putting a little bit of baking powder in here just a drizzle okay hey tasha my grease is getting hot i have my grease on like six or seven and i'm going to add some sparkling water and get my batter all together okay and you're just going to add it a little bit slowly and the consistency just to clarify that you're looking for is like pancake batter so obviously, I don't know if you guys can see, this is like way too thick. You wouldn't want no pancake like that. And also if you think about um, whenever people make like beer battered fish, this is kind of the same too. Like they put the flour with the beer together. Look, I cheated in science like all through high school. So I don't know you know, the specific terms what need to be used. But I do know that this batter gonna be light and airy on y'all ass, I know that, okay? So we mix that up so you can see the consistency. It's pretty good. And 
I'm a little ghetto, so I like put a little bit, just a little bit of hot sauce. You don't have to do that. I'm doing that because I like to. And I'm adding a little bit of cayenne to it. And then also, I'm adding a little bit of paprika. And the paprika in this instance is really just for color. You know, you just want it to have like a nice little jazzy piece of color. Y'all sit tight. I'm gonna stir my grits. Talk amongst yourselves, okay? So let me show you guys the consistency of the grits. First of all, my grits are doing well on you hoes, okay? If my grits were my kids, they have a 3.7 GPA. They're captain of all the sports teams, and they're going to fam you, okay? My grits are doing well on you hoes, just to let you know. Okay, I have to turn the fire down a little bit lower, cover my grits again. My oil is getting nice and hot, and let me mix up this wet batter really quick so you guys can see what it looks like. And if you guys, for those of you who are joining late, if you're wondering why the flour looks a little bit brown, it's because we use spelt flour instead of white flour, okay? So let's get our fish, because I feel like our grease is nice and hot. Okay, let me show you guys our fish. I know y'all gonna bug out on me at first, but then y'all gonna see the vision, you're gonna respect it. They laughed at Martin Luther the King as well, okay? This is our fish. I know, it looks crazy. So these are banana blossoms. You can get them fresh um, from the Asian market or you can get them canned. I like to get them canned, not because the fresh one doesn't have a good flavor. The fresh one does have a good flavor, but it's a little bit more work. Hey Chrissy, hey Corey, it's a little bit more work. The fresh one, you have to like cut it open, you have to peel the skin back, you have to quarter it. It's a lot of work, um, but they're cheaper. So you get more bang for your buck with that, but it's more time. It's kind of almost like every other ingredient, right? If you bought something, um, I don't know, let's say fresh strawberries, for example, that you were gonna put in a smoothie, right? So fresh strawberries might be cheaper than frozen strawberries, but you gotta take the green thing off, you gotta rinse them, you gotta cut them, you gotta put them in the freezer. You have to do all of that yourself. So it costs more time than it does money same thing with the banana blossoms so i know you guys are wondering like what is this green stuff that she has it soaking in because i want it to taste like fish i put a little bit of kelp in the water to give it an oceany flavor i don't know if that makes sense or not i want it to make sense for you guys um if you are in south florida you can get this from the farmer's market Otherwise, if you can't find kelp, no problem. You know I don't like complicated vegan ingredients. You can just go to Publix and get sushi paper and put it in regular water. This is regular water and I put kelp in it. Make sense? If you don't have access to kelp, that's perfectly fine. You can go and get nori flakes. You can get um, the sushi paper from Whole Foods, from Publix. Um, pretty much most grocery stores sell it. I'm not sure if Walmart does, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that like most grocery stores um we'll sell that to you okay but this is our fish all right i'm about to go put some um cheese in my grits y'all give me a second because my grits are winning out here so i'm gonna get me a couple slices of cheese probably like three Oh, sorry, I didn't show you guys the cheese. This is chow cheese. It's from a company called Field Roast. Um, this is sold at Walmart and every other store. So Publix, Kroger, um, all of that. It is $5.98, $6 for about 12 slices. This is the best like sandwich cheese melting. It melts effortlessly, like literally put it in a pan. I made, if you watched my live last night, I made a sausage, egg, and cheese for dinner. And I use this cheese. It melts the best. So easy. Love it. Okay. I'm tossing this into my grits real quick. With a little bit of water. Grits, are you burning on me? Don't burn on me. Okay. Let me mix my cheese into my grits, y'all, real quick. And I'm also going to add some vegan Parmesan to my grits, too. I just holding it up there so you guys can get a good screenshot of it.
my grit's about to be fire. Okay. So that's melting. Okay, so like we said earlier, we have a wet batter and a dry batter. Let me put this so you guys can see. If you guys can't see, let me know, and I'll try to adjust it as best I can so that you guys can see. So this is our fish. This is our wet batter. This is our dry batter, which is literally fish fry. That's all that it is. Capiche? I didn't do anything to it. It's the seasoned Louisiana fish fry. Didn't do nothing to it, okay? Got our batter. Great. My oil is starting to smoke. Excellent. So we're going to take our first piece of fish. I know it don't look like much, but the Lord say don't judge a book by the motherfucking cover, okay? Did Jesus say that? No, just, is that in the Bible? You know how black people just be saying shit for a long time? You be like, it's in the Bible? I don't think that's in the Bible. Y'all let me, it's just, no, that, it's a, no, that's not in the, no. Somebody else said that. Jesus didn't say that. But I'm sure Jesus was thinking it and then, or maybe he wrote it and then it just ended up on the editing floor. I don't know. But I'm sure Jesus would want you to not be judging niggas by their cover, okay? I'm sure that's what he wants. Okay, so y'all see our lovely piece of fried fish. You want to make sure that it's really, really well coated, okay? And then we're tossing it. Tossing it, tossing it, tossing it. Taking our dry hand. Dropping it in the grease. Okay, same thing. Wet batter. Boom. Now me, I like my fish fried hard. If you don't like it, uh, what is the fish made out of? It's made out of banana blossoms that's soaked in kelp water. If you can't find kelp, that's perfectly okay. You can just get sushi paper and put sushi paper in the water. And it also, it needs to marinate for at least 30 minutes. Mine marinated probably closer to two hours, but it needs to marinate at least 30 minutes. At the minimum. Also, like I stated earlier, guys, I like my fish fried hard, so mine is going to be in there for a little solid amount of time, okay? If you don't like your fish fried hard, then obviously, because this is, um, you know, a vegetable, you're not going to catch salmonella or anything. Once it gets to the color you like it to be at, go ahead and grab it. Take it right out of the pan. I have my fish. It's looking like it's about to burn a little bit. I'm not going to be embarrassed on TV, so let me flip my little piece of fish over. Okay? And keep going. And then while this is cooking, oh, these pieces just fell the fuck apart, huh? Look at this. I'm going to show y'all how these niggas fell apart. Who was looking at years with a plea deal on the table. These niggas fell apart like Takashi 6 9 I'm mad at that. Y'all are supposed to stay together. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hold on these other pieces. Well, no, let me get some of these full pieces together because I can fit this one inside the pan right now. Let me rinse my hands real quick. Well, that's working too. I'm checking on my grits as well.
This is our grit. Damn near perfect consistency. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese to it. I happen to have some vegan mozzarella here. I'm just gonna add that to it. And this is by a company called Follow Your Heart. Love this brand. If I can get it open. Y'all hold on. This cheese is acting unusual. All right, got it open. I'm gonna add a little cheese and a little water to it. Cheese. And a little water. Okay, let me turn my fish. So I can just show y'all what my pretty little uh, pieces of fake vegan grouper look like. This is my vegan fried fish, y'all. Bam. See that? I'm proud. I'm going to get some paper towel for these. And I know that I tell you guys all the time that like, I legit, legit love um, curry, and I do. I love curry, but like, like I said at the beginning of the video, if there's a meal that I can eat over and over and over, that's like a comfort meal to me. It's it's fried fish and grits, like hands down. I just put a little bit more cheese in my grits, y'all. That's it. And I just have my grits on low. So they're on like two. If I have ten settings, they're on like two. Look at my little piece of fish showing out on you. Okay, I'm going to finish up those last pieces of fish. And then I'm going to start with the shrimp. And the shrimp is obviously super easy. Um, if you watch my Instagram, I'll show you guys where I, what the shrimp looks like and where I got it from. But it is soy free and it's pretty close. There's a one that I've had that's better, but it's way more expensive. So I don't eat it that often. But it's really good. So let me show y'all my little piece. My little piece of fried fish, boo. I'm gonna move these pieces over here. So they can get a little bit more color. Alright. So I don't know what's happening with these pieces over here, but we're gonna try to make it work. We're gonna see if these niggas will come together as a family and work for the greater good. So we're putting it in the wet batter. Real quick, once again, in the wet batter, it is spelt flour or whatever flour you have. It's a little bit of baking powder, sparkling water, or you can use beer, um, whatever really works for you, whatever you have in your house. Use that. Ah. Whatever you have in your house, use that. Um, salt, any type of blended salt seasoning, you can use that as well. That's what I use. Um, and some lemon pepper seasoning because lemon usually goes on fish and you can't really put lemon on these fish. So, it's pretty much all that I did. Let me see if any of these other pieces is ready to come out. They are not, so I'm just going to throw a couple pieces of shrimp in there while we wait. Let me show you guys the bag of shrimp and like show you what it looks like. And then I'll show you, 
the shrimp I'm about to do. So this is the bag right here. I got this again from the Asian market. Now this one is a little bit harder to find, but most Asian markets do have vegan shrimp. This is a good one. It's soy free. I really like it. And you see it say vegan shrimp right there, okay? So let me do a close up on it so you guys can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I didn't do anything to these, but put them in warm water. So basically just defrosted them, okay? That was it. And I'm about to do the same thing, wet batter and dry batter, that's it. Like I said, I like my fish fried a little hard, so these, you know, these, these need a little bit more time if you ask me. And I have my fire on seven right now. So I got the same thing, get the shrimp, wet batter, fish fry, I'm gonna do like, I think five of these at a time. One, two, three, four, five of these at a time, okay? I'm telling y'all, it's 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 not so bad on the vegan side. This is my little um this is my little benediction, you know what I'm saying? It's not so bad on the vegan side. I know a lot of people be like, oh I could never do it, and that's cool, you know what I'm saying? I understand that. But also, just know that you got options, you know what I'm saying? Hey Monique. It's not all bad over here. And in truth, it's not all good. I've had a lot of, you know what I'm saying? I've had a good couple of uh, fucked up vegan experiences myself. You know what I mean? Like I said, it ain't all bad and it ain't all good. Like with anything else, all right? Let me turn this over. My damn fish getting vegan browns. Okay, let me show you guys what our fish looks like. Give me one second. I'm going to stir up my grits. I'm going to stir up my grits real quick. Oh, honey. Let me show y'all these grits. Because first of all, I'm not even about to play with y'all. I just walked across my yard. I almost got killed. Y'all see these grits? These are all vegan, delicious, cheesy, buttery, amazing grits. Y'all see my grits? No, but do you see my grits? Do y'all see my grits though? vegan 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 what is the fish made out of the fish is made from banana blossoms so my grits are done 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 put this to the side real quick can you guys see so i'm about to take my um fish out if i can find my tongs oh shit i don't wet the tongs that's gonna be bad get burnt can just use a different pair of tongs okay Got our little fried fish here. Let me just show you guys. This is our fried fish. Bam. Our shrimps are still cooking. We just did those a couple at a time. So I'm going to put, I have the fire on seven and I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to do my little uh, struggle pieces of fish. Toss those in there. The ones who didn't want to act right. And like I said, guys, I like my fish fried hard. If you don't, you can definitely take yours out like as soon as they get golden brown because like I said, if you're not dealing with real fish, you know, you're not gonna get salmonella and die. Nothing like that, so. Definitely, you know, 
whenever, as soon as you get ready, feel free to take it out. Okay, I got my last little struggle pieces of fish. And now I'm gonna do the rest of my shrimp. Okay, let me move this out the way. Let me move that out the way. I'm just tossing my shrimp, like all of them at the same time in the batter. That's it. And remember, these are like the same. They're already cooked. Most vegan, like fake meats and stuff, you're just reheating it. It's, it's already cooked. Where do you get banana blossom from? Um, the far, uh, Not the farmer's market, the Asian market. You can go to any Asian market and it'll be in the can. Same like you do uh, jackfruit. Like the, the jackfruit that people make the pulled pork with. The Asian market. I'm telling y'all, Asian niggas be knowing. Asian niggas be knowing. Okay, so let me pop my shrimp in. Let me get some of the other ones out because they've been in there for a minute. They have a really nice coat on them. And like I said, remember, they're already cooked. I made this before. It's so good. Oh, really? This is my first time reattempting. One, two, three, four. I got a straggler in here somewhere. All right, five. My strength. Okay, let me get these struggle pieces of shrimp out the way. All right, that's done. Wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna take these other pieces of fish out and then I'm gonna do my okra and then we're pretty much gonna be done frying stuff. Got my right there. Boom. Okay, let me get my okra. And you don't, you guys don't have to do this, obviously. I just happen to have some okra left over um, that I bought from the farmer's market. So I figured why not. And with the okra, I'm not gonna do uh a dry batter I'm just gonna I was gonna do it really quick and I actually was never like a big fan of okra and then I turned vegan and I started just finding different ways to like you know new vegetables and shit like honestly that's literally what happened and clearly you know this ain't the most healthy vegan meal obviously we're sitting here eating fried fish, fried shrimp, cheese grits, fried okra, like, you know, niggas could clearly be doing better, but whatevs, it's Sunday, I plan to go work out one of these days this week, so I just got my okra, yes, my okra's washed already, it's clean, just gonna toss that in there, try to make my life easier, Sorry, sorry, you guys are saying this. All right, where in Atlanta did you get the shrimp? Oh, I got it from um, Metro Chef. It is on Venture Drive in Duluth. So if you live in that area or if you want to take the road trip, it's on Venture Drive. I don't know the exact address, but it's in Duluth. Let me think. What's the exit? Steve Reynolds. So take 85 North to Steve Reynolds. Get off, make a right. And then I want to say make like the second left is Venture Drive. Okay, sorry y'all. I I was monologuing. Let me let me read the comments. I don't think we have those stores here in Port St. Lucie. You have Asian markets. If you have a chi I I said this before, I'll say it again. If you have a Chinese uh restaurant in your city, you have an Asian market. Asian niggas like to stick together. Black people could learn something from them. All right, so I'm just battering up my okra really, really quick. Once it has a good set of batter on it, it's going to drop it in there, let it fry. And 
and this is just really quick because I had extra okra obviously don't want it to go bad so okay sorry where in Atlanta did you get the shrimp all right the banana blossoms yes banana blossoms Asian market can't miss it it's next to the jackfruit and the lychee in the can girl you a magician well you know black girl magic so okay I'm trying to read these and drop the okra in and not get burnt and look cute all right that's me with the mushrooms and the raw onion I hated them now they're in every meal yes girl I was always a fan of mushrooms, but girl, when I tasted those uh, oyster mushrooms as fried chicken, I was like, okay. Okay, now I got all that stuff out of the way. I can pull you guys closer so you can actually see what's going on. Let's get our fish out. Okay. Let's take the fish out. Bam, shrimp is still doing their thing or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys this first piece of fish. Let me put this on a plate. First of all, show you my piece of fish. I'm gonna get like two little shrimps. Okay. Let me show y'all my grits one more time because I know you hold. Y'all see my grits? Okay. Just a gentle reminder because I thought maybe niggas had forgot that that's how I make grits so all right let me get a spoon for my grits okay and I just did one spoonful of grits so I can show you guys so this is our shrimp it's our fish this is our grits All right, let me get these shrimp out of here. Real quick, we're going to keep letting that okra cook. Get all of these shrimp. But like I said, remember, the shrimp is pretty much like it's already like cooked. You know what I'm saying? So you're really just trying to get some color on it, basically. Okay, I'm going to keep letting the okra cook for a little bit longer. It's probably already done, but just, you know, I like my stuff fried hard, okay? Now, let me show y'all this. First of all, show you my, my fish. Hold on. That's my vegan fish, y'all. Y'all saw the whole process from beginning to end. So now, in real time, you can see my reaction to it. Oh, my God. Bitch, let me tell y'all something. Y'all know I don't lie to y'all, so I'm not going to lie to y'all. Do I think that I could place this fish in front of a meat eater and have them tricked? No. Does this taste like vegan fried fish? Yes, in the motherfuck it does. What can of pan are you using to fry the fish? It's a cast iron skillet. Okay, my grits are good. I'm not going to lie to y'all. They could probably use a little bit more salt. Now, I I might be the reason why niggas got high blood pressure. Don't ask me. They probably don't need no more salt. But to me, they need a little bit more salt. Or hot. Mm. We got our shrimp, our vegan shrimp. Oh, we can shrimp. <clears throat> <coughs> mm. 
Listen, let me tell you something. I used to think I was better than you niggas, but now I know it. That meal right there, now I got to be back getting on to my diet on Monday. But that meal right there, hmm, okay. Okay, honey boo boo. Let me get this okra out. I never, if y'all understand, I never even used to like okra. And let me tell you guys something too. That um that lemon pepper seasoning that I put, it really made a difference in it tasting like fish. Like I'm very satisfied. And I'm from I'm from South Florida. I'm Jamaican. I know some good seafood when I have it, okay? I know good seafood when I have it. That's good. I'm going to enjoy this meal. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Anybody got any questions, comments, or concerns for the church before we go? Mm. Look at that. Fry shrimp. Fried fish, cheese grits. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all can't say I ain't put y'all on. I ain't one of them stingy vegans or nothing. Let me close these cabinets. This is ghetto. 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 Y'all can't say I'm one of them stingy vegans that I don't hook y'all up, that I don't be telling y'all what I be making, that I don't tell y'all um, where I get my stuff from. But some vegans, they won't tell you. They want you to figure it out on your own. They won't tell you. I'll tell you. Mm, I missed the video, the whole process. Oh, okay. So let me go through the process really quick before we get off this live. Because I want to stop talking. I want to eat my food, okay? So, for the fish, we use banana blossoms. You're going to go to the Asian market. In the Asian market, where the canned uh, vegetables are, there's going to be lychee, there's going to be jackfruit. Uh, there'll be mushrooms over there. You're going to get banana blossoms. So open the can with a can opener. Okay, I'm gonna take that out, drain the water off of it. It's in brine, which is a fancy word for salt water. Niggas didn't even know I knew that word. That's it, you're gonna drain that water off and then you are going to put that into water with, I use kelp powder. I'll show you once again what it looks like. Sorry, because you want it to have the flavor of fish in like the ocean. I use kelp powder. You can use whatever you want. You can use um, nori flakes. You can use um, kelp flakes. You can use the sushi paper, crumble up the sushi paper. Anything that's gonna give it the flavor of like the ocean, right? Soaked that, you can do it for 30 minutes. I soaked mine for probably about two hours. Not intentionally, I had other shit to do, whatever. We made a wet batter from flour. We use seasoned salt, so any type of tone. You can use, I prefer to use Old Bay. I don't have any, but Tony's Creole, Lari seasoning salt. Whatever seasoning salt you normally use, garlic salt, we use that, and a salt-free lemon pepper. You, if you have just regular lemon pepper, you can use regular lemon pepper on it. This one is salt-free, right? And obviously, if you're using a lemon pepper that has salt in it, then you don't want to, you know, mix that with other salt seasoning because it's going to be too much, right? And I mix that with regular flour, baking powder, and sparkling water to make a nice, light, airy, fluffy batter, Okay. Then I had the dry batter. Where's the dry batter? This is fish fry. That's it. I didn't season it. It already comes seasoned. It has salt and other stuff in it. So I did not season it, right? So once the fish finished soaking, we took the fish out, we put it in the wet batter, put it in the dry batter, fried it in the oil. This is peanut oil, by the way. You can use whatever oil you want to. I don't recommend grapeseed oil just because it's, ex it's very expensive to get this amount of grapeseed oil. Um, but if you have corn oil, you have vegetable oil, whatever oil you normally fry in, I use peanut oil. You're going to make a good amount of that in a cast iron skillet, and we fried it. Then we just did the same thing with the shrimp. The vegan shrimp, we put it in the wet batter, put it in the dry batter, fried it. That was it. And the grits, um, how we made the grits, you can make yours any way you want. I use broth to make my vegan grits, so I use better than bouillon paste. I put that in some water, added some vegan butter. 
and then once it kind of like the water got absorbed then I added coconut milk then I added cheese oh and black pepper and that's it anybody got questions comments concerns let me know I'm about to get off this live so I can go eat jokes something you want to share political commentary on the state of America no all right now let me show you can you you hoes look at my fish look at that somebody come look at that look at my fish flaky crispy i have to go thank y'all so much for tuning in allow me to do what i love to do just educate our awesome people on the wonders of veganism what does the bloody what does the banana bloody taste like though what's the texture oh it's textured like fish i would say um not like a salmon though like and not like a tilapia the first fish that comes to my hole let me taste again hold on let me taste again Probably somewhere in the family of maybe catfish. It's not as thick as grouper or tilapia. Maybe like a catfish or a whiting, that kind of texture. Snapper. Mm. The meat is too firm to be snapper. So I would say catfish if I had to guess. Anyway, girl, you're going to have me on the hunt for banana blossom. And Tasha, um, send me a DM with what city you're in, girl. We can find you some banana blossoms. It's nothing, boo. It's nothing. If we can find out these niggas' passcodes to their phones, we can find banana blossoms, okay? It's a transferable skill set, boo. What is making that noise? Oh, are these grits still on? I gotta go. I'm over here monologuing. But I love you guys and I will see you next week. Oh, quick church announcement. I'm gonna be in Tallahassee for homecoming. So actually I'll be in Tallahassee on Wednesday. Serving up some good veganness. If you want to plate, holla at me. And then October 10th, I will be in Miami. Holla at me. Get you a vegan plate. Date in Broward County. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Boop. I'm gonna go. I'm just getting corny now. But I love you guys and thank you so much. This this meal's on point. You definitely need to make this for real, for real.